Hello guys, I am Yogesh. Today I am going to demonstrate that what are the delegates in C-sharp and a very interesting topic and you will learn lambda expression uh, and uh, predicates but before that you have to understand the delegates. Okay, so I just created some notes for you and uh, I think that these notes are very useful for you. So what are the delegates and what is the need of delegates in C-sharp? Okay using a delegate allow the programmer allow the programmer to reference to a method inside a delegate object it means these are just a pointers of the class methods okay so that is the reason we use the delegates the delegate object can then be passed to code which can call the reference method without having to know at compile time which will method will be invoked uh, I will demonstrate it uh, later. So delegates are especially used for implementing events and the callback methods. All delegates are implicitly derived from the system.delegate class. It means the namespace to implement your delegates we have to pass system.delegate. Okay. The delegate declaration defines a type that encapsulates a method with a particular set of arguments and return type. Okay. So I think that these topics will be cleared soon. So I figure I create a figure for uh, you that uh, how we can better understand what are the delegates. The publisher it is, it is a you know it's a kind of user who will publish a event from your form okay and uh, as per the events we can call different functions using the delegate. It means this pointer is able to access these functions okay you will create multiple functions with the same signature and using a single delegate you can call all these methods that is why we use the delegates so what are the technique to implement your delegates first of all we have to declare your delegate and then we have to create the object of that delegate okay so I mentioned here uh, first of a delegate is a type a class it is a special class and you will see why in second but still it's just a class that means that like any other class in order to be used it must be declared and instantiate it means that you have to create the object okay so this will result in object that object can be invoked so how we can declare the delegates the signature to implement or you know that the uh, you know syntax to implement your delegates first of all we have to use keyword delegate after that we have to write the return type and uh, this return type is completely depend on, on your methods which kind of methods you are calling after that you have to pass the delegate name then parameter list so this is the signature to implement your delegates for example I just taken a very simple example over here I just going to create a delegate to to calculate your area okay so in this delegate you can uh, see here it's a, it is a access modifier this is the delegate keyword and it is the integer return type okay so you are going to call that function whose argument is the integer type and the return type is also the integer type so I mentioned here the preceding delegate can be used to reference any method that has a single integer parameter and returns as integer type variable okay once a delegate type is declared, a delegate object must be created with the new keyword and the associate with a particular method. When creating a delegate, the argument passed to the new expression is written similar to a method call but without the argument to the method for example. Here you can see the example. I'm just going to create a delegate and my delegate is uh, name is the area calculator and uh, using this delegate, we are going to create the object of this delegate and this object is calling this particular method it means that in your programming you have to define that this method okay which will have a integer data type as a argument and it also return the integer value and this is the second delegate object and using this second delegate object you can access the square get a square method you will write them so let's come to the practical part and let's see that how we can do the same thing for the simplicity I just create a console application in this console application uh, I think there is no need to tell you that what is the procedure to create your console application okay it's a very simple task just go to the file 
select uh, new project and uh, console application selection after that you will have this particular class okay so let's see that how we can create the class and how we can create the delegate so I'm just going to declare a delegate public it is access modifier then you have to pass the delegate keyword after that you have to define the integer data type okay and uh, calculate area it is my delegate name and the argument is a calculate oh sorry area okay so, so you have just created a you know you have just declared a delegate now let me uh, define the definition of various methods which I am going to call um, so public okay so what is the signature integer it is a return type and get circle it is my method and uh, and the argument is the get area or it should be radius fine so I have to make it a static because I will call it directly so get circle area and in this definition I just going to return 3.14 into R into R I think I should take double data type as return type because it will send it will return the double type of value so first of all I have to make changes in your delegate after that you can make changes in your function also fine so this is the way by which you can uh, get the area of circle now let me create uh, another method that is a get square integer r and I'm just taking the square of the r okay so you can see here that uh, I just created a delegate or I just declared the delegate after that I create two static methods which is used to uh, get the area of circle and square okay and uh, now let me create the object of the delegate which I have created recently so what is the name of my delegate calculate area so let me create the calculate area object circle area this is the object and I have to define the method which I want to call get circle fine so it will calculate the area of circle another method is the square area and this square area I will define get square so what is the mean of these objects the mean of this object is that that using the circle area you can call this particular method as I told you that uh, delegates are the pointers of the method it means this object delegate object is going to access this particular method let's see console dot right line and uh, circle area dot get circle no there is no need to call get circle you can call the invoke method just call the invoke method value you have to pass over here like I am passing 20 circle area is area is this one in the same way you can also get the square area go and write code here and make changes square uh, let me copy this and paste here ok and write the console dot read line execute the program and see the result
now you can get the result over here okay so guys as you learned that what does what are the delegates i'm going to upload various videos on mvc and uh, various videos on c sharp jquery javascript json angular js and bootstrap if you like this video please like uh, write some comments at my youtube channel and uh, please subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video thank you